Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we're going to be making our way down to Ash Lake. But before we do, make sure that you have the rusted iron ring on and at least 10 purple moss clumps. If you don't have 10 purple moss clumps, you can always go up to the aqueducts up there and go to the hollow merchant lady and buy a few. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and go to the Daughters of Chaos. Also, before we warp to the Daughter of Chaos, be sure that you are repairing your equipment, like your armor and your weapons. That way they're not breaking on you in the middle of combat or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and head over there now. Let's go ahead and go to the fair lady here. We're going to reinforce our Estus flask since we had that firekeeper soul from earlier. We're going to head up top to hand our weapon. We're going to go see an old friend. Fortunately, this old friend is going to be hollow. So we're going to have to put our old friend down. There's going to be a lot of running in this episode. We're going to veer off to the left here, go under this route, head over by Quailana here, don't worry about the big guys, they'll de-aggro in just a moment. Although I do want to take out this chaos bug. Over here, we can see that Laurentius is standing there. Our good friend Laurentius. Poor guy. Everybody say, rest in peace, Laurentius. Rest in peace. You didn't stand a chance, unfortunately. Over here we see another friend. This is why we needed the purple moss clumps. Is to give them to Sigmire here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see, I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote moss for the trip back. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask, but can you spare a few scraps of moss? Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this, a symbol of my appreciation. Well, our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> the poison swamp. It's like quicksand in there. Hmm. So we'll leave him be. Also, do make sure you say yes to giving him the purple moss clumps.
We're going to come up here. We're going to hit this wall. This is an illusory wall. Grab ourselves some twin humanities. And then right behind this, we have another illusory wall. Now we're in the Great Hollow. This place is a mess. I despise this place. There's a ton of crystal lizards here and items. We're not going to get all the items. I'm not even going to go for any of the crystal lizards because it's just pointless. If you want to, feel free to. Um, hopefully nobody's upset with me not getting the, all the crystal lizards and all the items. But the majority of the items in here are either red titanite chunks or blue titanite chunks. And I'm not making any fire weapons or magic weapons. So I'm just not going to bother. I'm sure there's YouTube videos out there going over each item and how to get it here in the Great Hollow. Um, so if you want to look one of those up feel free so this route right here this is where we want to be we're gonna roll off be really careful you don't want to fall through the hole I think if you fall through the hole you're either gonna die or come close to death we get the Corinthy ring here a really good ring to have let's go ahead and take off our rusted iron ring and put on our Corinthy ring it's gonna be handy a little later fall down right here Come over here and then right here we want to roll off again go ahead and heal ourselves now because we have a lot of humanity and we're in our human form we won't be cursed as easy if you don't have a lot of hum humanity or you're not in your human form you're going to be cursed really fast so be aware of that Whoop. I always hate these roots. They're scary. Let's get a Titanite chunk. And this is why I was talking about curse right here. But we really don't have to worry about it. We're good on it. We want to take this route to the right here. We're going to go all the way down. You can see a crystal lizard down here. Oh, he disappeared. He's seen us. That's one you can get. I believe you can get it by using a bow and arrow, but don't quote me on that. You can also see an item that I missed over there. If you want to try to navigate the Great Hollow and get those items, feel free. They're not hard to get. They're just kind of tedious because you can fall very easily off the roots in this place. And it's just honestly not worth my time to do it. Should have one more. There he is. Yeah, I knew he was going to fall down. It's okay. You can always slide down and hit him. Take that guy out. Just kind of take him out one by one. They're most likely going to make their way to you, so. And they're not really that hard. We got all of them. Go ahead and pick up a soul item. And just keep going down the root system. We're going to get another Titanite chunk. Right here, that item right there is a pain in the ass to get. Because you have to drop off from over here. And you can't really see where you have to drop off from. So a lot of times you'll just die. And it's very annoying. I don't like getting that item. Every time I uh, go to get it, I dread it. <laughs> I know that I'm going to have a few deaths. So right here, we want to walk off to this mushroom here. And then we're going to walk off again. Get ourselves a Titanite chunk. 
We're going to have the little mushroom guys and big mushroom guys down here. I'm not going to bother with them. I'm probably just going to roll off here. Go around them. And run out. They're just not worth the souls or time. And welcome to Ash Lake, everyone. This is a beautiful vista. This is like right up there with Ann Orlando. Like making it to Ann Orlando for the first time. That's what I always think of Ash Lake. It's just really pretty. All these trees. Unfortunately, I don't think we ever go back to Ash Lake in any of the Dark Souls series. I think it's alluded to in Dark Souls 3 to a certain area. And we'll get there eventually whenever we do Dark Souls 3. We're going to rest at this bonfire. We're also going to kindle it just in case we die. We have a Hydra we're going to beat. This Hydra hits a lot harder than the last one. So do make sure that you have that Chloranthi ring on your shield out, which should be the uh, grass, grass crest shield. And uh, just kind of hope for the best. We want to get close over here and pull out our shield. And hopefully everybody has enough stamina. If you don't have enough stamina, you're going to run out of it and it's going to hit you pretty hard. Pretty hard. Be careful not to go all the way to the edge. I like to stay just on the shoreline here, right before the water, um, and just hold out my shield. Wait for the Hydra to hit, and then get as many swings as I can in. Again, just kind of stay right here. Got one head. There's two. And three. And four. And I think that was five. I'm not sure. Whoa. <laughs> we killed the Hydra, but it kicked me up into the air. That could have been very bad. We get two dragon scales and then if we run over here there's an item way over in the distance here we'll pick this up real quick yeah like i said just be very careful another dragon scale by the way just be very careful and kind of stay right here by the shoreline hold your shield out and just take out one head at a time the same strategy as the last Hydra that we beat. Just this Hydra is a little stronger. Actually, a lot of stronger. We're going to come around this route, by the way. And then we're going to grab another Dragon Scale. So we have four. And then I would advise coming this way. Sometimes you can get stuck or hung up over there. If you come out, I don't know. It's happened to me and it's been really annoying and I've had to homeward bone back just to get through that little piece and get unstuck. Right here, these clam guys, they have a high chance of dropping purging stones, which cures curse. Or also they drop um, twinkling tight night. Which there we go. We got some twinkling tight night from them. Good drop if you are trying to upgrade a weapon that takes Twinkling Tight Knight. You can get a few here. This isn't the best place to farm just because there's only a few of them and you have to run such a far distance just to get to them. 
there's a better farming spot for Twinkling Titanite. And when we get there, I'll talk about it a little more. For now, let's just continue on. We're going to get another Dragon Scale here. So that makes five different Dragon Scales. Should not be hurting for Dragon Scales, that's for sure. We're going to come up and around here. Let's kill this basilisk. And then we're going to turn around. And right here is a log that protrudes out. Just kind of inch off and then fall off. We're going to grab a magic spell. Or a miracle, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not a spell, a miracle. The only reason I'm wasting my time with this guy is because I don't want him to follow us on the way out. A magic spell, I can't believe I said that. Be really careful. It's easy to fall off here as you're coming out. And then there we go. We have a purging stone. Awesome. So I got to show off how they drop uh, Twinkling Titanite and purging stones. Good deal. Just follow this around. We're going to see an everlasting dragon. There we go. This is the last one in existence. We're going to enter the covenant. It's going to give us the dragon headstone along with the dragon eye. If you offer enough dragon scales, you can also get the dragon body. Come back here. We're going to chop off its tail. It's going to give us the dragon greatsword. So if you're wanting to level that up, you do have five dragon scales to level it up with. Let's go ahead and go back to the Daughter of Chaos. Let's rest at this bonfire. And then we're going to take out Ceaseless Discharge. After we take out Ceaseless Discharge, we're going to end the video. It shouldn't take us too long to beat this boss. This boss is actually really easy. Um, you can make him difficult or you can make him extremely easy. And we're going to make him extremely easy. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of running in this episode. 
I think the majority of what we've done is just run all over the place. I believe Lost Isolith is going to be a pretty long episode for us. It might be uh, almost an hour episode just because of how much is in that section. There's ceaseless discharge. He looks pretty crazy looking. His head is right there, by the way. See his mouth and his eyeballs. Pretty grotesque. Let's go ahead and grab this. As soon as we grab the item on this corpse, it's going to piss him off. So be ready. We're going to wait for him to do his attack. As soon as he does his attack, go ahead and run. Run and do not stop running. Just don't run into that attack. I've done it a few times. I have done it a few times. But you want to wait until he slings his arm and then you just start running and you should be in the clear as long as you don't stop running should be all right he does have a crazy breath attack that will hit you really hard so be careful for that just gonna wait for him to jump over here and then you're gonna hit his hand like six or seven times something like that but he can't do anything there you go easy peasy lemon squeezy Alright, after the cutscene, we get one humanity and a homeward bone, and we also get 20,000 souls. Let's go ahead and homeward bone back to the Daughter of Chaos bonfire, and we'll end the video. So I'll see everybody there. Alright everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel also if you enjoy content just like this be sure to subscribe or don't i don't know i'm not your dad do whatever you want and like always everybody have a good morning a good afternoon or a good night or whatever time it may be in your part of the world mr john wayne signing off